Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, October 14th, 2020 uh, of the U.S. indexes. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscriber button down here in the corner, hitting the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, um, well, the indexes have basically shot up into the air at this um, today's trading day. Uh, we'll look at the, the S&P 500 first. At this point, we are have rallied nearly 3%, nearly 3% um, today. And at this point, we are reaching to the all-time highs. We are way overstretched. Uh, we're not overbought at the moment. We're basically just on the edge. We're at 69. But the RSI is looking exhausted at this point. Um, and so do the other indicators. We'll get to that. Um, what I expect to happen here is that we will run into major resistance at this high. So what we'll most likely see is a double top. So the index will basically hit the high of 3,588. Then it will fall back towards the towards the 50 moving average before going higher. At this point, there's no reason for this gigantic move to the upside. This market has been screaming for stimulus uh, now for several weeks, and there's no stimulus coming. Um, even though there were uh, headlines today that uh, spokeswoman for the for the White House would uh, said that Donald Trump would accept any stimulus. It's like the people don't have any credibility at the moment. Nobody's listening to her uh, whatsoever. Um, and Donald Trump has done a really good job basically destroying all possibilities for an additional stimulus. So at this point, there's no reason for the Democrats to give uh, Donald Trump uh, a victory lap now for another stimulus package before the election. Uh, the Senate Majority Leader is basically focused on the Supreme Court, not the stimulus. And Donald Trump is just saying whatever he wants to say. So the possibility for an additional stimulus before the election are really slim. Absolutely, extremely slim. So, and I also believe that it is really, really slim that we will have an additional stimulus after the election. Because Donald Trump will most likely lose the election and he will do whatever it takes to basically uh, do as much harm to the Democrats uh, after that he has lost. So he'll not make another stimulus bill in order to, to um, help the U.S. economy uh, back on its feet and so on. He's just going to try to burn the house down. That is what I'm afraid of. But this is just a absolutely uh, parabolical move that makes no sense at this point. I I was hoping for this market to basically just gradually grind to the upside because this movement, this move, the only thing that will happen here is that we'll get a gigantic fall similar to this um, at, at some point, most likely when we hit resistance here. We may break this point, uh, this uh, uh, this resistant line, and then we break down. But moves like this almost always end with a major pullback. And a major pullback will most likely be the um, uh, 50 moving average at, at this point. Um, so if you look at the technical indicators, the only one that is really positive is the MACD. So bear with me. We crossed the signal line uh, last week. And we have been in a bullish, and the MACD has been really, really bullish since then. However, the RSI is flattening out. So even though the MACD is showing that we are extremely bullish, the RSI is showing um, exhaustion at this point. And that is not a good sign. So at this point, people are most likely getting stuck. They're buying and buying and buying, and at some point... When we reach this line, I do expect us a major pullback, something similar to this. Maybe not extreme, uh, extreme as this, but we will actually have 
uh, most likely a double top here where we have a major pullback because there's no reason for for this for this move if we basically had received the stimulus package today yes then it would make sense but we haven't and it's most likely not going to come the stochastic is also uh, about to turn around also showing similar exhaustion as the as rsi and the bollinger band we have done this before back here when we break the top of the bollinger band it tends to uh, violently drop to the downside so at this point i'm definitely not a buyer if if i were to be buy this into this index i should have bought it down here I should have bought it here and so on. At this point, a pullback is what is needed in order to enter this market. And a pullback all the way towards the 50 moving average, find support here, and then it's possible to basically enter this market. So, uh, yes, we'll go to the Dow Jones. Dow Jones as well, it has uh, risen from the bottom here to the top at whole, around nine percent and that is just in well two and a half weeks time nine percent usually the indexes don't increase like around nine percent in a year so that move is similar what this index usually gains in a year it does done it in two and a half weeks so that is that is something that has to have a major pullback we can also see that the RSI is overbought. It is also similar to the S&P 500, getting exhausted. The same goes as stochastic, and also the Bollinger Band is basically breaking the top of this, uh, the top of the Bollinger Band, which usually coincides with a major pullback. However, the MACD is looking very bullish at this point. So, we may go to the highs here at 29,000. If we do, I do believe that we'll have a major pullback towards the 50 moving average before we go higher. The faster market goes, well, the further it falls as well. So you look at the NASDAQ, and this is probably one of the main reasons why both, well, especially the S&P 500 is gaining so much momentum at this point is because the, the tech stocks, are exploding today. Apple up 5%, Facebook up 4.7%, 4, 4 Google up 3.7%, Amazon, Amazon up 5.2%. Yes, sorry, I need to get that back. So, what happened to the Nasdaq today is basically it, it jumped from, from uh, 11,719 all the way up to 7,910, and since then it has uh, it has uh, it has uh, grown. Uh, it has increased additional uh, one point uh, one point six percent, so three percent in total from uh, from Friday's session, which is is it's fairly ridiculous. Uh, we may go to these highs. Yes, that is possible, but. I believe that will have a major pullback towards the 50 moving average. Similar to the S&P 500, similar to the, to the Dow Jones. Um, the RSI is uh, leveling off, showing sign, showing sign of exhaustion. Uh, Stochastic is still bullish, but the Bollinger Band is a way across the uh, top of the Bollinger Band. And usually what happens there is basically that you fall um, quite hard uh, to the downside. MACD is quite is very bullish, so we may go to the top here, but if we fall back, the 50 moving average is um, support. We have seen it uh, back here when Donald Trump released his Twitter feed, uh, his tweet about the, the stimulus, but this move just doesn't make any sense. I know that Apple is uh, releasing one of its phones, uh, but but um, I expected a move like this if we had a stimulus bill, additional stimulus bill. We're not going to get that. So 
expect this market probably to rally up towards the top here, but then certainly also to fall down towards the 50 moving average. So I hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe down in the bottom and hit the bell button and the like button in order to see our newest videos. So uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.